guys, Travis here, Dutters Dirt Bikes. Time for another tire review. This time we'll be reviewing the Bridgestone, it's not a Bridgestone, the freaking Dunlop. Dunlop, Dunlop, whatever you want to call it, the AT81EX. The EX is the soft compound, or you can also call it the gummy compound. Um, another fairly popular tire choice. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try for wintertime riding because in the summertime, I would absolutely annihilate this tire. The thing I do like about and also not like about the tire is the carcass. I actually really like how soft, well, I really like how hard the sidewall of this carcass is. So I actually gave it some pretty good um, stability as well as, um, you know, it took impacts from rocks pretty darn well. The center part is very soft, which good and bad. Good for traction, but bad for durability is about the only thing. Because um, the reason why I'm replacing it right now is I was out riding and, oh shit, I can't find it. Whatever, I got a big freaking hole in it somewhere. There it is, big old hole. That's about the only thing, that's the only reason why I'm replacing it. Now I can't hold it against the tire because I don't know what I hit. You know, I could have hit a piece of metal for all I know that um, would slice through any tire. So here's an up close look of it. Uh, wear actually really wasn't too bad for how soft the compound was. It actually was not too bad for how soft this tire was. Like I said, it was winter riding where the temperatures are colder. Um, Performance, the tire uh, did pretty darn good. Uh, I did like how well this tire turned. It was a good turning tire. It was a very um, playful tire to use. Pretty good forward grip, pretty good grip in the wet and slimies. Um, the only place where I felt like the tire didn't hook up the best, which you know wasn't like a, a huge deal, was the big hill climbs and the soft you know, the big soft hill climbs. It just did okay. I think what it was is because with the compound being so soft, the lugs just would flex. So when you're trying to chop through some dirt, they would just kind of fold on over and not really paddle through it very good. Other than that, um, you know, it did good. I really like the, the strong carcass on the side, so it gave it good stability. I didn't feel like I was hitting uh, my rim all the time. Just the soft, the, the soft center it was a little concerning to me. Um, you know, that, that's just with the power of my thumb, but that's what helps give you good traction. But it also can help you um, slice through the tire a bit. So not a bad tire, definitely a good tire. I liked it. Um, for me personally though, I am sticking with my VE33S I have yet to find a tire that has generally outperformed this tire. Um, this tire is just done awesome. But definitely not a bad tire. I would say if you ride more deep woods single track where it's more wet, snotty riding, I would say choose this tire over this tire just because of how soft the compound is, the center carcass. Um, so, yeah, for more wet and slimy, I'd go with this for all around the VE33S.